So this video is about overseas travel and when and how you can claim overseas travel as a business expense. So nowadays, it's very much expected that international travel is part and parcel of many of our job roles, whether that is to go and meet new prospects or clients, perhaps meet suppliers or go to conferences to help excel and grow our own businesses. It is very much part of what we do. However, HMRC still have very, very strict rules around what can and can't be claimed as an allowable business expense. I'll give you an example. If you were to go to Berlin for a few days for uh, some meetings and you decide that you want to extend your trip for a couple of days to see the sites, then claiming for that trip would no longer be allowable as a business expense because you are mixing business with pleasure, essentially. Now, there is a way around it. Um, whereby if you would like to extend your trip to see the sites, what you should do is book the trip in two parts. So you can book the flight outbound, you can book the accommodation for while you are um, attending the work events. Um, you can claim those back as business expenses. And then the accommodation costs for the additional days and perhaps the flight home would be seen as for personal benefit. So you would need to cover the cost of those yourself. But that way, it does mean that you can at least claim back some of the trip as a business expense, which is great. Now, while you are away from home, um, there are also non-business expenses that you can claim for, and they are called incidental overnight expenses. So that covers things like uh, phone calls to home or laundry or perhaps buying newspapers. And the allowance set by HMRC is £5 per night for overnight stays in the UK and £10 per night for international stays or stays overseas. Now, when you decide to claim back these expenses for your business trips, there's two ways that this can be done. The first way is to claim back the exact amounts that you have spent. So you will need to supply all of the receipts, all of the invoices, um, any of the bills. You'll need to learn probably how to say, can I get a receipt for that in whichever language um, of wherever you're visiting? Because it's really important that you have all of those receipts for the taxis, for the meals, for the accommodation, for everything that you wish to claim back. The other option, which can potentially make life easier, is to use HMRC's scale rate payments. So HMRC have listed almost every country in the world on their website with applicable scale rates. So what that means is um, whether you're claiming for lunch or dinner or a room rate, they set out guidelines to what you can claim back in the local currencies. The benefit of this is that as, a, as an employer, I wouldn't necessarily need to check every single receipt from my employee for those business trips. Um, however, it's definitely recommended that you still do check a sample of those. So how does Expend help? Now, expense can be used for any expense type, for any expense claim. Um, you can use any payment method, so you can use your own cards or corporate cards or our own expense cards. Um, and it can also be used for any currency, which works really nicely with the international or overseas trips that you may have to do. So you have two options. As an employer, if your employees are going overseas on business travel, they can pay for the expenses as and when they are accrued. They'll have our mobile app downloaded onto their phone, so they'll be able to take a photo of each receipt as and when they happen. They can add any notes or any client details to that particular expense, and they can submit that through to review to you within a few seconds. And it's a really good way to make sure that they do collect and they do claim every single receipt as they go along. And there's no um, worry of lost receipts when they get back. And the other option is that you can use our expend cards. So cards can be distributed to employees within your team. They can be used overseas. They can be used worldwide. Um, and the way that the cards work is that you as the employer can set customizable spending allowances for each card. So you could set a daily budget, a weekly budget, a monthly budget. Um, you can turn on and off certain features so you can say that they're not allowed to be used in ATMs, whether that's in the UK or worldwide. You can decline all online payments if you want to, and they can very much be a, a chip and pin card um, if necessary. The other thing that you can do is you can block certain sectors. So if you know that your employees are going overseas on business trips and you want to make sure that they don't use the cards in any 
pubs or bars, then you can decline that. You can set that up as a blocked sector that they won't be able to use those cards in. So that's a really useful feature that a lot of our companies, a lot of our customers enjoy. Now, if there's anything else that you want to know about business travel, please do get in contact with us. It's quite a complex subject, so we're more than happy to do some more of these videos if you need. Um, but yeah, good luck and enjoy your trips.